books, they inspire us to think, they inspire us to learn, they inspire us to love. You know, reading a book takes you to a place that nothing, no other activity can do. It really puts you in the shoes of another human being's experience and helps you realize that at the heart of it all, we are all experiencing those same things. Why, why are books important to you? I love books because I can find out about other places and other people. They take me out of myself. They're fun. Um, I've got a little one, so I love looking at the pictures. Just everything. I've always loved books. I can't not read. If, if I don't read, I get cranky. So I just really enjoy the feel of a book in my hands and the story and, and being able to live with the characters and the people in the book. Books bring families together. And why do I read to you? Are you ready? Because, yep. because I don't know how to read. Yeah. How, and what book are we reading right now? Cinderella. Yeah, and why do you like Cinderella? Because she's a princess. Well, we like coming to the library. Why do we like coming here? To get books. To get books. Um, well, I, I will I will tell you that I read, I, I started reading very early. Um, actually, my parents were a little worried because I didn't take an interest in reading early enough for their liking. They were like, uh-oh, maybe she's not a reader. What are we going to do? Uh, but then I caught on that that's what we do in our family. We lay, we lay in bed in the mornings. We don't get up on Saturday. We stay in bed and we read. I like to read because it's like the opportunity to either learn or to somehow experience another world. Whatever, if it's a text-like thing, it's the opportunity to learn and learn about this world. If it's a novel or, you know, fiction or poetry, it's the opportunity to look at a world through that writer's eyes. The Google Books Project estimates more than 130 million books have been published. Books bridge generations. <laughs> Reading's probably done more to shape my life than uh, no, just about anything I can think of. I, I, I get to interact with the best minds of my generation and other generations. Books come in all languages. We have, at Multnomah County Library, we have books in 40 plus languages. Most of those live here at the Central Library, but many of our branch locations have materials in what we call the We Speak Your Language target collection. This community has a large Spanish-speaking population, a large Russian-speaking population, Vietnamese speakers, Chinese speakers, and a growing Somali population. So we strived really hard at the library to make sure that we understood those communities and where we needed to reach them and come to where they are and serve them. Um, but we also have materials in Korean, Arabic, Filipino, French. You know, we have a lot of materials in many languages for anyone. People read books to be entertained. They read books to escape. They read books for knowledge and to learn new skills. Um, and once I discovered the, the wonderful world of being alone in your head and, and experiencing that, the empathy and getting so involved in a story that you just can't imagine it ending and not wanting to, the last page to turn, uh, I, I became a reader for life. What I get out of reading? Just an enormous amount. Aside from being able to spend time, you know, I didn't recognize this when I was young. I mean, I, you know, I read science fiction and it, I really entered some of the stories. And it was a way of spending time, but it was a way of, like the world I was in was very interesting because I grew up in the countryside, but there were reasons to escape or want to think of other worlds. And don't forget, in my day, we were promised a space station by this time that we'd be able to visit and flying cars and other such things. Books bring out the best in us. They also bring out the worst. More people are reading, and now, with advancements in technology, more people are writing and self-publishing than ever before. I think, I think it was Stephen Fry who said that, you know, comparing e-readers to books is, is the argument of the, of the elevator taking over for stairs. You, you're, there's always going to be a place in the world for both. You're always going to have print materials and e-content e or new emerging technologies, I think. Um, but hopefully the, the, the underlying theme is the same in 150 years, that books are someone else's thoughts recorded into perpetuity for, you know, other people to learn from.